Hello everybody, I'd like to welcome you to my presentation for my learning contract project for Seminar in Human Resource Management at Arkansas State University. For my project, I've decided to address the California Firefighters Procedural Bill of Rights Act, otherwise known as FBOR. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar, FBOR was enacted in 2007 by the California Legislature. And it is a procedural law that guarantees various rights to firefighters and establishes specific requirements for administrative investigations and discipline. Um, the law can be somewhat confusing when read, unless you're an attorney. And uh, I think it's very important that our firefighters and our supervisors understand this law. Um, one, so our firefighters know what their rights are, and two, so our supervisors don't violate those rights um, because the ramifications can be fairly significant. So that being said, I decided to create a reference guide for the Firefighter Bill of Rights um, that is split up into sections of what, who, how, and when, and it's got bullet points. Um, it has all the specifics of the bill. It talks about political activity, interrogations or investigations, punitive action, administrative appeals, personnel files. Um, and I also created a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, the PowerPoint presentation is a training exercise that can be delivered in person or can be delivered online. Um, our organization has an online training uh, delivery system called Target Solutions that I will put this on so I could disseminate it to the uh, fire stations and all the companies. I also created a 20 question quiz that has short answer, multiple choice, and true and false questions that can be administered after the training. Um, so my PowerPoint presentation, I will go over here uh, briefly with you. Um, the California Firefighter Bill of Rights Act covers California Government Code sections 3250 through 3262. Um, 3250 cites that this chapter shall be known and may be cited as the Firefighters Procedural Bill of Rights Act. Um, Section 3251 talks about who's covered by the Firefighter Bill of Rights, which is basically any firefighter who's employed by a public agency. Um, it just doesn't cover inmate firefighters or any firefighters who have not completed probation. Um, section 3252 talks about political activity. Section 3253 talks about interrogations and investigations and some of the requirements. Um, 3254 talks about disciplinary action um, and punitive action uh, and then 3254.5 talks about administrative appeal which must be conducted in accordance with the Administrative Procedures Act um, and it also talks about uh, agencies that have MOUs with binding arbitration um, section 3255 uh, talks about personnel files and any adverse comments that go in personnel files and how those need to be addressed. And then also 3256 and 3256.5 talk about other rights as far as personnel files and time requirements for agencies to respond to requests for uh, to view personnel files and so forth. Uh, section 3257 um, talks about firefighters are not allowed to be forced to take lie detector tests. Um, 3258 says the firefighters will not have to divulge any information about their finances. Um, section 3259 talks about personal space um, being searched and there must be search warrants or the uh, firefighter must be present or give consent. Section 3260 um, is more rights of firefighters. Uh, and then 3261 says nothing in this. FBOR shall limit the ability of any employing department and any firefighters to fulfill mutual aid agreements. And then as far as when to apply the Firefighter Bill of Rights, um, it shall only apply to firefighters during events and circumstances involving the performance of his or her official duties. And then there's some case law here, George Corley versus San Bernardino County Fire Protection District. Um, and this uh, case law here specifies fire chief and what it means in the Firefighter Bill of Rights. And then also Poole in Orange County versus Orange County Fire Authority. And this is about personnel files and that a supervisor's daily log that he uses for his annual evaluations is not considered um, a personnel file. 
So, in conclusion, the FBOR is a landmark measure designed to apply common sense principles of fairness and professionalism to the process of investigating and disciplining first responders. As with the original Peace Officers Bill of Rights approved in the 1980s, the Firefighter Bill of Rights puts in place basic procedural safeguards that recognize the unique role of first responders. And that is my presentation on the Firefighter Bill of Rights Act. Have a good day.